My subject is astigmatic dial or astigmatic fan. It's a subjective method used for the diagnosis and the treatment of astigmatism. Patient is presented with the astigmatic dial or astigmatic fan. This is what a, might a patient, what might be seen by a patient. You, we're going to ask the patient, would you identify the black and the sharp line in the, this example, the line extending from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock is the sharp black line. On the other hand, from 3 to 9, it is blurred. To understand how it's the idea behind it, I need to remind you with the conoid of Sturm. Suppose we have a cornea with the horizontal meridia strong and vertical meridia weak. So rays in yellow will come to a focus closer to the cornea compared to the rays in red. The green circle represents a bundle of rays getting into the eye. And let's see how this bundle will behave once it passes through the cornea. So this is the horizontal, strong. This is the vertical, weak. So As you see, as the bundle passes away from the cornea, the shape of the bundle changes. This what have been seen. In this area, the bundle is in the form of a vertical line. As you can see, the yellow has come to a very, very narrow while the red is still extended. On the other hand, back here, the yellow is expanded and the red comes to reach to focus here. So in this situation, we have a horizontal line and in this situation, we have a vertical line. These two lines are known as the focal lines and the interval in between is known as the conoid of Sturm. Here in the middle, we can see the bundle of rays shape is circular. We call it the circle of least confusion. So a pencil of light from a point source is refracted by the astigmatic eye as a conoid of Sturm. Now let's go back to astigmatic dial technique. This is what we present to the patient. We have a dial of sharp lines. The distance between lines is 10 degrees. And also we have a rotating Maddox V shape that can be rotated so the patient can point to the sharpest and the blackest line. So the term blackest and sharpest are the most easy understood by the patient and should be used in place of the word of the clearest. Now let's see this example. Suppose we have an eye with the horizontal meridia emetrope, so horizontal rays will come to a focus on the retina. While the vertical meridia is myope minus one, it is a strong by minus one, so the vertical rays will come to a focus in front of the retina. So horizontal on the retina, 
vertical in front of the retina again horizontal on the retina vertical in front of the retina if such an eye looks to a point source the image formed on, on the retina the spot will be vertical and not a circle vertical oval suppose we the patient is looking at a cross the cross is formed of many points next to each other now notice the horizontal line will each point will be extended vertically and also the vertical line each point will be extended vertically as you notice the outcome that the horizontal line will be blurred because each point is expanded in a vertical direction so the amount of contrast is is uh, falling on a larger area on the retina while the vertical will be sharp because the extension is in a vertical direction so the points overlap each other except the very end part will be a little bit blurred up or down so as you notice here because of the shape of the circle instead of being point it changed into oval the line have changed into blurred line the cross have changed into blurred line and a clear line as you notice the astigmatic meridia will appear sharper and darker this is the error in the vertical here the error is in the vertical meridia and this is the meridia that appears sharper and darker so on correction we have to apply a cylinder and this cylinder should be 90 degrees to the sharp dark line the line of error let's see in these two examples the focal lines of conoid storm this is the dark sharp line at the 180 this is the dark sharp line at 135 and 90 degrees we get the blurred line if you want to correct you have to apply the cylinder in this way perpendicular to the sharp line also here it should be perpendicular to the sharp line let's see another example suppose we have a compound myopic astigmatism in this example as you can see the horizontal is myop and the vertical is higher in the degree of myopia suppose we put a sphere of minus one everything will be pushed backward so now the horizontal is on the retina if we put another minus sphere so the vertical is in front of the retina the horizontal is behind the retina and the circle of least confusion is on the retina if we put another power minus three everything is pushed further back now the vertical is on the retina and the horizontal is behind the retina let's repeat again this is to start with everything is forward when we put minus lenses we are going to push things back and back and back this is the first minus more minus more power minus so in the first situation the patient will see a dot vertical like this in the second situation the dot will be circle but larger in size we call this the circle of least confusion and in the last example the patient will see horizontal 
uh, the spot will be expanded in a horizontal way. Here an example of compound hypermetropic astigmatism. As you can see, both the vertical and the horizontal are behind the retina. This is the retina. Everything is behind. If we add plus one, everything starts to move forward. Now one of the meridia is on the retina. Another addition, the circle of least confusion is on the retina. More addition, the second focal line is on the retina. What are the steps used in astigmatic dial refraction? First, you need to obtain the best visual acuity using sphere only. Now, here we are trying to aim to correct the spherical error. For example, this patient with compound hypermetropia, he can make accommodation, so pull everything forward. So in the, this figure, you can see that one of the lines is on the retina and the other meridia on the myopic side. Or he can do less accommodation and keep the circle of least confusion on the retina. So by fogging the eye, we push everything forward so that one of the meridia will be on the retina. So we want to reach to a vision of 618 by adding gradual increasing power plus spheres. Then we ask the patient to identify the blackest and the sharpest line of the astigmatic dial. In this example, this horizontal is the sharpest and the blackest. Then going to use minus cylinder of gradual increasing power. The aim is to bring this line back to the retina. So we are reducing the conoid of storm. Once we achieve this case, all the lines will be blurred to the same degree. Then we start the, to defog the patient. So I'm going to reduce the amount of plus sphere by removing plus lens or adding minus lenses of increasing power until the best visual acuity is obtained. So to sum up, we do fogging, then we collapse the conoid of storm, then we decrease fogging by using the least minus or the highest plus to get the best visual acuity. Thanks for your attention.